foodies on four, we've got Modern Southern Table. Daisy is joining us now with an exciting restaurant uh, that is what it sounds like, <laughs> a modern take on some of your Southern favorites. I love, um, I love a lot of parts of your story. So you get your inspiration from family. Yes, yes. Um, all my recipes are based on my grandmother's recipes and what they taught me from uh, since I was a little girl. And you also may be a familiar face to some folks because you've been on TV. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Food Network in 2014 with a show called um, Food Court Wars with Tyler Florence. And so that was a previous restaurant that you had in Zanesville. Yes. And now you're in Columbus in this kind of brand new venture. You've only been really open for a few weeks now. How has it been? It's been crazy. It's been amazing. Um, we're super, super grateful for the turnout and how everyone has been and loving and enjoying the food. Um, we got a great partnership with the Cameron Mitchell restaurants. Um, they've been like mentors and great support team trying to help us learn and grow our businesses. Tell us a little bit about some of your recipes and I'll try and show it off here. Um, definitely fried chicken is on the menu. Um, yes, our number one <laughs> item is our fried chicken. It's Alabama style. That's based off what my grandmother's taught me. Um, we don't use buttermilk, no eggs, so allergy free. Um, and we just fry it up with love. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just great. <laughs> I can feel the love. I can feel it. <laughs> it's one of those things that's just like going to make you feel good, mm -hmm. make you feel better. And so let's talk about what else do you got? What else is a favorite on your menu? The second would be the catfish. Oh, yeah. Um, we do Mississippi style catfish. We used to always go over to Jackson, Mississippi. Um, and they always had great catfish and something called comeback sauce. And so something I grew up on. And so mm -hmm. that's our, probably our number two seller. That's what I was wondering what the sauce was. Is that like a tangy thing? I guess I could just open it and try it. Yeah, it's, a, it's a tangy thing. They put it on um, everything there. They put it on salad. They put it on chicken. They put it on everything. But I always liked it with the fish. It's got kind of like a sweet flavor to it. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it goes oh, it goes really well with that. That's so good. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's deliciously fried too, mm -hmm. making you feel comfort at home. Um, I've got the gumbo and one of my favorites too, cornbread. Yes. Yeah. So what goes into those two things? The gumbo. Now that's my first food memory. Um, and so I got that from my grandma Ann. Um, she had first time I ever seen gumbo I was probably like six or seven and she had this big pot of gumbo with crab legs hanging out of it and I was hooked from that moment I fell in love with gumbo and always wanted to make it so that gumbo just has sausage and chicken and then the holy trinity of uh, vegetables and it's pretty basic but we do seafood gumbos and stuff like that as specials and you've got styles it sounds like you've kind of got styles from all different places Yes, we base our cuisine off of our family lineage and everything below the Mason-Dixon line. So we start our our story at the the coast of the um, the Sea Islands, the Gullah Geechee community. That's where we we understand our slave owner started us at. That's where he found us at. He lived in Charleston. So we start with our Geechee culture, and so we have the Geechee red rice that you have there. Mm -hmm. That's not popular. Most people don't know that in Ohio. It's a dry rice, but it's made with like tomato sauce and dewy um, and bacon. But um, bacon. it's a really different rice. Um, if you are familiar with the Sea Islands or Charleston, you'll have it there. Um, and then we just transition down through the coast. I mean, excuse me, the uh, Gulf. So we got the Alabama, the Mississippi, um, the Louisiana. So we basically touch where our family touched. And now it looks like everything else is going to just bring it on in. Great recipes, great family ties. We hope that you continue to get a lot of people out there. Where are you located again? So we're at the Bud Dairy Food Hall. It's 1086 North 4th Street, um, Columbus, Ohio, 43201. It's right across from Seven Sons Brewery. That's awesome. So great location, a new place for people to check out um, with old family recipes. Daisy, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.